नमस्ते गाइस हाउस इट गोइंग सो आई यू मेकिंग द सेम कैन ऑफ मिस्टेक अगेन एंड अगेन इन योर लाइफ वेदर इट्स हैपनिंग थ्रू डिफरेंट सिचुएशंस वेदर इट्स हैपनिंग वाई आर डिफरेंट पीपल बट देर इज सम स्टिकिंग पॉइंट विद इन योर सेल्फ विच लीड्स यू टू हैविंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फेलियर इन द फिजिकल रेलम ऑफ लाइफ and you're not able to get over it you're not able to do something about it let's say it is overthinking something as simple as that let's say it is failure in relationships because you always end up thinking that you know the person you love does not love you enough or does not love you the same way or that there are better people whom they might find you know so no matter what it is if there's a mistake which you are ending up making again and again in your life and if there is something which you want to repair from the root i want to bring your attention to a few particular things so number 1 what happens is that when we mess up in life we look at the situation we messed up in and we think next time this kind of situation will come we will do a better job and we will not make the same mistake again and we will be wary of it great but the tricky thing about life is that it does not send you the same situation again it sends you the same problem but with a different face it sends you the same lesson but via a different trap this is what you need to realize that while we are here on gaia or earth it is a school of life all right for those of you who are interested in the occult a little bit like things like astrology or even the um hindu concept of the soul taking birth again and again the reason for that is that when a soul takes birth in and i'm not an expert in this manner but i'm giving you my simplified understanding of it that when a soul takes birth in a form in a material form we are material and spiritual beings all right so when the soul takes birth in a material form and is designed by prakriti nature it has two you know basal drives behind it of survival and reproduction and those drives survival and reproduction enact themselves via different ways for different forms of material and spiritual existence for some people survival can mean meeting you eating two morsels a day and for some it can mean having caviar every day all right so this talks about the level of desire basically which the soul is carrying that spirit is carrying to experience via the material form now what happens is that that desire which is there that's what leads us to take action and participate in situations and things in life and then we end up making mistakes or we end up flunking or we end up it with it backfiring on us we end up suffering we end up going through pain etc now the world is so interesting or the human experience is so interesting that it will continuously throw you the same trap until you don't realize the actual face behind the situation or the person until you do not realize why you are going wrong until you do not realize the root cause you will be bound to making the same mistake again and again because that is the lesson which you are supposed to learn so you got a desire you think it's yours yes okay in one way it is yours but in another way that desire exists for you to fuck up in order for you to learn a lesson because what good is a life which goes perfectly from start to finish then you've done nothing a life lived easily is a life wasted all right so you have a desire one because you think you have a desire that okay i want a nice car so i'm going to work harder and do this in my career and 5 10 years down the line you find a lot of dissatisfaction and then you have frustration and then you have a shit attitude at work and then you get fired and you go like fuck i put in 5 years in this company but maybe it is there to make you realize that your desire can be fulfilled via a medium which is more truthful for you and maybe it is not sucking up to a company and a boss and even if it is it like it could be a different company and a different boss or a different line of work or something which you do via being self employed or whatever but the thing is we bullshit ourselves to such a massive extent that we literally create more traps and illusions in front of the main trap which is there and we go like 
we we give ourselves reasons for our nonsense we give ourselves reasons for our bullshit you know so my message in this particular video to you guys is realize that if you're making the same mistakes again and again or if you end up having similar sort of failures rejections or whatever or pain points suffering experiences i want you to bring your focus towards inside so what behavioral patterns do you have what mental thought patterns do you have because thoughts are like a language some people have only positive thoughts some people are funny all the time because they have only funny thoughts some people have only depressing and dark thoughts now this pattern if you do not bring attention to it and it becomes this loudspeaker in the background which is on auto play and you do not pay attention to it or you pay attention to it in the wrong way what ends up happening is that it starts becoming you you start becoming the voice in your head over time and you don't want that but the voice in your head is very useful i wrote on my telegram uh where i share my writings i wrote everyone's mental dialogue is a podcast in itself yet we try our hardest to tune it down why the mental dialogue is another form of illusion which if we work through it can show us where are our thought patterns wrong where are our behavioral patterns wrong because there are a lot of things which we end up doing without thinking for example let's just take my example in relationships you know for the sake of an example let's say there is a certain kind of behavior which if i have a partner who's a woman ever does i feel disrespected as a man and what that does is it angers me so for some people for some guys it can shame them and they lose confidence for some it can anger them that how the fuck can you disrespect me so let's say i'm either one of these two people all right now until i like until i do not pay attention that this phenomena is repeating in my various relationships for example or with the same person again and again over time i'm going to fuck up my life i'm going to fuck up my relationship i'm going to fuck up the happiness of the other person but i need to understand over there why is this happening why is this a trigger point for me why is it that i want them to respect me is there a feeling of lack of respect for me in my own eyes for myself is it that i will only feel worthy about myself as a man only if women are respecting me what could it be so when you ask these questions why 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 this is an old consulting tool from my strategy days which i've shared with you know a bunch of people just ask three why's it helps come to the root of a problem much quicker you might end up discovering that root and once you discover that root you will realize holy shit that's a fucking pattern which i've been repeating that's a pattern which is manifesting via different forms and holy shit it is impacting my quality of life that is where you bring change at the level of your spirit not at the level of my health and fitness regime not at the level of my focus and discipline at work not at the level of my style and how i present myself and my soft skills this is all external and yes it will work but it won't last it will work to maybe help you cross one more bridge but it won't help you go through the journey you know because in the journey it's not about building yourself it's about unraveling yourself so this is just something small that i wanted to share with you guys and if you found it useful share it on with somebody who also will love it and uh, let me know what you would like me to speak on because i would love it if more of us could focus on unraveling ourselves so that we could offer our true essence and reality to anyone we come across as well as reduce the amount of suffering and pain we go through simply via the existence which we think is real all right so hope you found this helpful and thank you so much